Valheim news just keeps dropping another teaser for Miss Lands and of course following on from Valheim coming to Xbox and I didn't really cover it enough but it's also going to be free on Games Pass not only for Xbox players when it does eventually arrive next year but also for PC Games Pass later on this fall. So let's go through all the details you need to know about Valheim today. So the Valheim devs have actually got a small hotfix update as well on their public test branch. I imagine that will be on there for maybe a few more days, possibly until next week, then it'll go live for everyone. So we'll cover that. It's mostly boring technical stuff, hence why I didn't do a video about it when it dropped yesterday. But now I can put it on at the end of this video. Why are we excited? Look at this. Black marble, people. We've seen some other teaser images that the devs showed off a while ago. And it looked like a lot of these monument style pieces would be something that you just come across and maybe not anything you could actually build with. But the devs have confirmed and pleasing so many which of the pe people that really keep on playing Valheim is the builders, you will be able to make constructions with this stuff. It does look fantastic. They're obviously giving it a bit more of a difference rather than just the regular stone, which I have got to say, always found a bit ugly looking. It's very rough, it's very basic. But this is great. Not only are we getting this beautiful, rich black and white marble, but we're also going to get different shapes. We've got like a hexagon shape here. So we're going to have proper pillars you'll be able to build, dwarven mines, the Eye of Sauron, and more. Great, great stuff. So I presume, though, we're still going to have to just dig out all the marble. You can see it's on a bed of kind of black material. It does look like it's the most basic marble kind of deal. Well, it doesn't have as many white kind of lines and stripes going through it. Now, yes, I know, nerds, that marble is literally marble. You just literally cut it and polish it and refine it, but that's it. You don't actually add or do anything more to it. But you get the idea. Just the base line of it does look a lot more darker from this image, but it could be just the light or this camera angle. In fact, you see more of that when it's actually the cut pieces. So I reckon there must be something to do with us refining it, putting it through the masonry table, i.e. the stone cutter, and then obviously, yeah, it will have that little bit more of a white marble effect inside the black rock. So good stuff. Obviously, again, mechanics wise, you're probably going to need to shore it up. You can see the wooden beams here and just highlighting again how cliffy and kind of vertical the Mistlands could be. Definitely parts of it anyway. Still no news about release date, of course, but the devs have started to tease a little bit more and more. So Valheim coming to Games Pass on PC for free, obviously, if you've got Games Pass. That's going to be happening this winter time. And yeah, I didn't really go over them details. I was just so excited about hitting Xbox next year. If you don't know, if you missed it, they've announced it's going to be day one on Games Pass when it comes to PC as well as console. They said early spring, so that says to me no later than March next year. And it's a completely different team porting this. It's not going to stop, slow down or hinder the Iron Gate devs in any way possible. The way that Iron Gate work being more methodical, making sure their updates are solid, no bugs, no problems, no issues. It does mean that they're gonna have more time for the port team guys to catch up alongside them. Did you know also, it's not just gonna be Series X and S. They did say in the original statement as well, that you will be able to play it on an Xbox One. There's only a few games that have categorically said that you can't play unless it's on the newest console, but it's still good to see. Obviously, it's not the most demanding when you look at it, People think the pixels, it's old school, but Valheim's got a lot going on with its open world procedural generation, as well as all the wave mechanics and the building stuff. So it does actually become a bit of an intensive game. Xbox fans might not realize either, it's one of the smallest ones going. I'm pretty sure it's only like one GB to download. So it won't take up much space at all, even when ported. But the devs have done fantastic work in optimizing it. A lot of lower end systems that had problems at the beginning are definitely running it a lot better and smoother now. So it is a really great game for everyone. So yeah, no exact date of when it's coming this winter, but they have explicitly said this fall. So that will be on PC. So if somehow anyone that owns a PC hasn't bought Valheim, considering they've sold 10 million copies, you'll now get a chance to try it out for yourselves. And then yet yeah, Games Pass March, I think, next year. Although, don't quote me on that. It might end up being a bit later. You never know. It might even be a bit earlier. And as I said, maybe a little bit boring. It really is just about optimization for current version of Valheim on Steam. Change shaders on several materials. You should see all particle effects, no matter if soft particles are enabled or disabled. Fix the bug that caused reduced performance when launching the game using DirectX. GUI tweaks, some save icons overlap text when changing certain languages, tweaks the new save system to reduce saving times, screenshot folder fixed, and localization tweaks. 
So that went live yesterday on the public test branch only. So I made, like I said, I imagine it will make its way to everyone probably next week. Fantastic stuff. Valheim's going in the right direction. Miss Lands will be here. They've got another development team helping, which also, by the way, usually means that when they've done with the actual console version, a lot of the same savings in performance can actually be applied back to the PC, given that the consoles are usually underpowered compared to most PCs. Time and time again, other devs have said it's helped them getting their game ported, as it's meant their original PC release has been more optimised. I'll be back with any more news about Valheim come to Xbox or the Mislands or anything else as soon as we actually get some of that new content incoming. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.